Okay, um, hello Scorpios, how you doing? This is Keep It Classy. Um, I'm doing you guys another story read. Please subscribe, new viewers, welcome to my channel. Hit the notification button below to be notified when I post a video. Like, share this video, you guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. Join, become a member of my channel, okay? Check out the description box below to be, um, check out the Fitz Benefits website for me. You guys go ahead and check that out. If you like active wear, waist trainers for males and females. All right, check that website out. If that link doesn't work below, go to my channel on my banner and hit that link and it'll take you straight to that website. Feel free to donate as well, you guys, okay? So let's get it started. Your intuitive message I'm hearing is battlefield. All right. And I'm hearing love is a battlefield. That song, love is a battlefield. I don't know who sings it, but um, somebody's going, going through a war in a relationship or they're fighting for a relationship. Okay. All right. And go look at the Aries reading. The Aries has a Scorpio in there. So they're fighting. They're fighting for their relationship. And that's what I'm hearing in for you guys okay so here we go cards flying out before i even say anything um scorpio's energy okay so here we go so let's see all right we have the ten of cups five of cups the will of fortune The Seven of Swords and the King of Cups. Okay, yeah. So you're somebody's Ten of Cups, Scorpio. Somebody wants a family with you, but they're feeling a sense of defeat and moving forward with you in that manner. Okay, they're they're hoping that the wheel turns in their favor and getting this family with you. You may not be too trusting of this person. They could have defeated you in the past. Or you just may see this person as being sneaky. Okay, so maybe that's why they're having such a hard time. King of Cups, they hold a lot of emotions for you, though. This person holds a lot of emotions for you. Or this is you, um, even though you do hold a lot of emotions for this person, but you just see them as being sneaky and you have a hard time trusting this person. Okay, so either one of those. Okay, so let's get some more cards to drop. Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy. And this is a um an air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini person, Scorpio. So if you guys dealing with those signs, this is they want a family with you. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Or you could already have a family with this person. You maybe you have a family with them. And um they're feeling a sense of defeat in the family in the relationship. Knight of Swords. So not a wand, so it could either be either way. Five of wands, the hangman, the five of pentacles, the world card. Okay, you may feel stable, comfortable, or this person feels stable, comfortable, and secure with you. Or they just want the stability, comfort, and security that you um, give to them when they're with you. They want all your attention, your time, and your stability. Knight of Wands, this person may want you to move in with them. So, yeah, this is somebody who wants a family. Because this person, Knight of Wands, 
or they could just want to heal emotional distance that but that's between you guys if you do have a family with this person or this person is wanting you to move in with them but in your eyes you argue and fight too much with this person or you're innerly conflicted on whether or not you even want to be with this person the hangman so you're stagnant so that person is stagnant and moving forward there's not moving forward between you guys because you're innerly conflicted you don't even know if you really want to be with this person at all maybe okay the five of pentacles yeah so here they are they're missing you you know feeling lonely without you and there may be a, a cycle you oh okay wow so you may need to end the cycle anyway before you can even move forward with this person on a new beginning so things are stagnant so you may have somebody else okay um scorpio's energy Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy. Okay. Okay, King of Wands is here. And you guys switch it to how it resonates because this could be how you're feeling. Um, six of four. The Knight of Cups. Okay, the Ten of Wands. The Four of Cups. And the Knight of Swords. Okay. All right, yeah, you have to end, you need to end the cycle anyway before you could embark on a new beginning with this person anyway. And there may be somebody else that's innerly satisfying you. If you have fire in your chart, it may be a fire sign that's innerly satisfying you. Or this is you. You're holding on to somebody else that's innerly satisfying you. Oh, an air sign, a, a Aquarius, Libra. Um, Gemini person, you want to move to better waters with this person, Knight of Cups. This is who you're offering love to or wanting to offer love to, King of Cups, an air sign. You may have Pisces in your chart, Aries, and Scorpio, who I'm speaking to. Ten of Wands, yeah, you see this person that wants a family with you? as a burden and this may be a, a taurus capricorn virgo who wants um who wants to be with you who wants this family with you this is a um earth sign who wants a family with you but you see this this earth sign as a burden, this Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You see them a burden, and you're trying to release them. So you can offer a cup to this air sign. And you're ready to rush into this air sign. And you may see this... Um, this Taurus could have air in their chart. It could have Gemini in their chart. This Taurus. And you see them as drama. You see them keep up too much drama. They're jealous. They're too possessive in your eyes. Let me get two more cards. Um, Scorpio's energy. Scorpio's energy. Oh, okay. Scorpio's energy. Okay. Okay, yeah, you want to reunite with a Leo. Somebody you've been holding on to. Somebody you want to heal things with.
and you may communicate with this person um, from time to time. You're in communication with this Leo. And this is who you want to reunite with. Okay. All right. So they have air in their chart. They have Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini in their chart as well. Okay, so um that's what I'm seeing off top. So um Scorpio, I'm gonna to clarify the cards. You guys can resonate with this story, but the story can change when I start clarifying, but you can also resonate with the other story as well. It's just going to go more in depth, okay? It's definitely going to go more in depth. Okay, so here we go. Okay, clarify the Ten of Cups. Thank you. Clarify this Ten of Cups. Clarify this Ten of Cups and Scorpio's energy. Okay, the Magician. Then they're manifesting this. Okay, this person may have Aries. They can have Aries in their chart, or you do, and they're manifesting you. You can have Scorpio and Aries. Yeah, you do. King of Wands, you have Aries in your chart. So they're trying to manifest you, this um, this Earth sign. They're trying to manifest you. They may, do, they may be doing some spell work, some um, love magic, attempting to get this family situation off the ground with you. And, um, clarify the five of swords. They're feeling a sense of defeat. Clarify the five of swords. Okay. Yeah, they're feeling a sense of defeat at being able to get a victory and getting this family situation off the ground, but they're hoping the wheel turns in their favor. Anyway, clarify the wheel of fortune. Even though they're feeling a sense of defeat, they're still holding out hope. Okay, this person is, um, uh, they're going to come in and offer a cup to you. But you see this person is being sneaky. You don't trust them. You don't trust this person. Or they have tried to offer you a cup. But you don't trust the offer. Because you see them as being sneaky. Clarify the seven of swords. And Scorpio's energy. The four swords right here. Yeah, so you're trying to pray for some insight. You're trying to use your intuition when it comes to this person. The hair font on whether or not, yeah, they want marriage. A Taurus. You're dealing with a Taurus, four pinnacles. You may take care of this person. You have stability with this person. Or you see, you may feel this person just wants um, your um, stability. You feel like they just want your money. You see, this person is maybe being greedy. Even though you do hold a lot of emotions for this um, Taurus. You may think they got mental issues as well. Clarify the um, King of Cups. Or clarify the King of Cups. Yeah, this person wants marriage. All right. Yeah. But you want to charge, yeah. So this person holds a lot of emotions for you, and they want to charge for in a success with you. This is what they're trying to do. But you see, you don't trust them. You don't trust the offer. Okay, so they, you're being told they really do hold a lot of emotions for you. You may hold a lot of emotions for them as well, but you may want to charge for it in a success somewhere else while they're trying to charge for it in a success with you. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles with somebody that you um, have stability, comfort, and security with. You know, somebody you feel secure, more comfortable, and um, safe with. So that's where you're at. You're trying to, yeah, you, you're trying to be with somebody you feel more safe, comfortable, and secure with. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Somebody who you're in love with. You're in love with someone else. You're in love. Yeah. You feel like they're your divine partner. You could be an Aquarius. They could have Gemini in their chart. 
but you're in love with this person. And you're trying to gain insight on that. And you're trying to be guided by your intuition on how to move the better waters with this person that you see as your soulmate. Could be a Gemini. Could be Aquarius. Some of you could be a Gemini. Okay. Yeah, this is what this is where you want your attention. This is what you're giving your attention, time, and your stability to. Or this is where you want to give it to. Clarify the six of pentacles. Okay, the king of swords. Yeah, and you're standing your ground. When it comes to this person, you believe this is who you should be with. You believe this is the person for you. King of Swords. Okay, Nine of Wands. This person's at a distance from you. Okay, and you're thinking about moving to be with this person. So you can build things with this person. You're thinking about moving. So you can be near this person. Clarify the Knight of Wands in Scorpio's energy. Yep, you're contemplating on how to go about doing this. Okay, you're energy conflicted. You're confused on how to go about doing this. Moving to be with this person. Um... As you're tired of the fighting and arguing you have, you have going on with this other person that you're dealing with that's trying to manifest you. Clarify the five of wands and Scorpio's energy. Yeah. Mental struggle. You're going through a mental struggle. Or this person that you are that wants a family with, they're taking you through a mental struggle. And then it's a mental struggle because you're stagnant and being with who you want to truly be with. Hold on, you guys. Hello? Huh? Oh, no, Ma, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Bye. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, you're stagnant. You're going through a mental struggle because it's stagnant for you to even try to be with who you want to be with because of this person that you're dealing with. Clarify the um, hangman. Clarify the hangman and Scorpio's energy. Yeah, because you know you need, you have to end the cycle. It's hard for you to end this cycle with this person that you're dealing with. It's 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 burdening you. It's burdening you. Okay. Did you miss this um person you want to move the better waters with that you feel that you're in love with? It's burdening you. And you miss this person. Clarify the five of pentacles. Okay. The seven of cups. Yeah, there's no other like this um air sign. They're unique in your eyes. There's nobody else like this person you want to be with. The world card is here. Yeah. So you want to, you, you want to end a cycle with who you with. And um, start a new beginning with who innerly satisfies you. Somebody who you hold a lot of passion for. What about the world card in Scorpio's energy? Yep. Tower moment. So you, you want a tower moment to hit. Maybe you're trying to cause your own tower moment. The tower card is here to end the cycle between you and this person. So you make them feel ignored, not in the cold. Causing your own tower moment with them because you want to be with who literally satisfies you. Clarify the king of wands. Yep. And this is a secret. You don't, this person don't know this. This You hide the secret, but you be depressed without this 
air sign. Who you want to move the better waters with? Six of Swords. Clarify the Six of Swords. Yep. And this person's at a distance with you from you. But you're thinking about moving to so you could be with this person. And so you could offer them love. So you may be moving out from who from this person if you're living with them and moving away. Back towards this person. So you can offer them love. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Knight of Cups. This is where your focus is. You have wishful thinking when it comes to this air sign, three of cups. Yeah, you've turned your back on this um Taurus, this earth sign. Because you waiting on your fulfillment. And this air sign is your fulfillment. Ace of Swords, and you're waiting on them. When you get the clarity that you need, you, you're moving on. Okay? You want this new beginning. You're waiting on this new beginning with this air sign. To the wands, until then, you're carrying this burden. You're working on releasing this burden, this 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 earth sign, who's a burden to you. Because you, you're burdened being without this person that you're in love with. Yep. This fell out. You're at a crossroads. Clarify the two of swords. Clarify the two of swords and Scorpio's energy. Yeah. You're at a crossroads on how to offer love to this person, being at a distance from this person. Okay. Yeah, this is what you want. You want to offer them a cup. This is who you want to accept your cup from. Or this air, this is what the um earth sign. Four cups. Clarify four cups. Or this is why the earth sign is having such a hard time um, at a crossroads because you're in love with someone else. You're offering love to somebody else. Okay, you're not even looking at you're looking at that cup like, oh no, mm -mm. to arise because yeah, this is the earth sign offering you a cup. You're looking at that cup like, uh uh, why are you even offering me this? You know how I feel. You know, like, no, I don't want that. Because you chose some, you choosing someone else you're in love with over them. And they don't know it. But when they find out, they're going to be angry. Or they're going to get the clarity that you want a new beginning. They're going to get the clarity on why they're at a crossroads and why you're not accepting the love they're offering. And they're going to be angry. The Knight of Swords. They're going to be angry. Hurt. They can have Gemini in their chart. Yeah. They're going to be angry and hurt. Oh my goodness. Be careful. They got that sword up. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords. Yeah. They're going to be angry. Cause they're not gonna get this family situation off the ground with you because you, they're gonna find out you you want a family with somebody you want to re reunite with. Clarify the three of cups. Clarify the three of cups. Yep, they're gonna attempt to hold on to you. This person's gonna try to hold on to you, and they're gonna try to heal things with you. But you want to heal things with a, a Leo air sign. This person has this air sign has Leo in their chart. Somebody you could keep in communication with. And they don't know that. Strength card. Clarify the strength. They're going to be hurt, angry. Yep. Yep. And this is who you want to move forward to success with. This air sign. Leo person. They got Leo in their chart. This person that you, you've you been holding on to. This person that you never let go of. This person that you're in love with. This person that you hold a lot of passion for. This is who you want to move forward in a success with. So um, if you're an earth sign cross watcher, I'm sorry you have to hear this. But this is where your person, if you're dealing with an Aries, um, this is where their head is at. Moving to having a family with this um, air sign Leo person. 
a, another Gemini Aquarius Libra person with Leo in their chart. Okay. All right. So that's the end of your reading. You guys, keep your head up. Please hit the notification button below to be notified when I post a video. Like, share this video, you guys. Join, become a member. Most of all, subscribe to my channel. New viewers, thank you for stopping by, checking me out. Hit the description box below up and check out that activewear on this benefit site, okay? Thank you very much. And um, feel free to donate. All right, love you guys. Be good until next time. Love you guys.